All right, here we go. It's Sunday afternoon. Um, returning with a review of a classic, Jay-Z's The Blueprint came out in 2001. This was not my first listen to The Blueprint, something I've listened to a couple times, but the first time I've really listened to it with a critical ear. So here we go. The headline for me was this scores close to a four, just under a four, so a really good album overall. Definitely enjoyed it as a whole. I think the real strength of the album, which I'll get into, hits on Jay's breadth and the wide range of sampling and styles that he's able to work in and play off of. The thing that let me down initially on the listen was on the lyrical side of things. Obviously, the flow is amazing and the lyrics are very clever. I thought the depth of the lyrics could have been better or was I expected them to be a, a little bit more than they were. After doing a little bit of research, I learned a little bit more about that, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Favorite track for me uh, before, I, I don't even know, I couldn't really pinpoint one, but I would say after was probably Heart of the City. Just something really felt myself getting into and really loved the sampling there. The worst for me was actually one of the biggest commercial successes, which I'll get into, which was Girls. I just, like, I, I got nothing. I, th I thought it was terrible, but it kind of a reflection of the times a little bit. All right, so getting into the different categories here, I'm going to put music production and range all together because I think for this album in particular, it's tough to separate the two. I think this is really one of the album's biggest, biggest strengths. You just see a ton of really diverse, really creative sampling that's happening throughout. You see... Um, Jay hitting everything from slow jams with girls and song cry. You've got R&B with Heart of the City. You've got more of like a pop with Hovo where you've got Jackson 5 mixed in. And that's that was super cool to see him do that and to be able to experience that along the way. From a lyric side of thing, like I mentioned, love the flow of this. Um, super clever, obviously. I expected more uh, on a, a number of the songs. It My reaction listening to it with a more critical ear was that a lot of this was just about Jay pumping himself up, and it seemed like so much of the album was just about how great he is, which upon further research was, was a, a bit of the point. And that gets into the fact that I guess there was just a ton of history in him being dissed in the industry um, with other artists, etc. So he's pushing back on that. So good for me to learn that. That said, I still thought there would be a little bit more to it and still think that could be something that would, would have given it a little bit of a, a higher score. And I think for that reason, there are like some of the tracks. I had a consistency score previously. I took that out at this point. But I think if there was something, I would kind of knock this on. I feel like there are some hits, some misses on this album. But um, what are you going to do? I kind of disagreed with some of these. Overall album experience, enjoyed it as a whole. It was a, it's a fun listen for sure. Um, and I think definitely something... I had no issue revisiting now 20 years later. I think it's something that people will continue to revisit 20 years from now. So the timelessness score was was really solid there. So overall, gets a thumbs up for me. Um, expected a little bit more on some elements, but net-net, very positive.